Hello, I'm Chloe from Kahu Vet, and this is your video demonstration for the Canter Intelligent V Oxygen Concentrator. We have here our 8 litre per minute model, and your un new unit should have arrived with the unit itself with its flow meter already attached, the user manual for your oxygen concentrator. We have our first filter here, our dust filter. Our HEPA filter is our second filter, and we'll chat a little bit later about replacing both of those filters. You'll also get two consumable samples, which are just some nasal cannulas for you to trial. We have a wire connector here for splitting our oxygen line, which we'll chat through a bit later on. Our humidifier bottle, which can be filled with distilled water when we're ready to use our unit and the power cord to power our unit. To the front of our unit, we have our reset button, our power button for turning on and off the unit. We have a display screen, our indicator lights under the display screen here, the buttons below the indicator lights are for controlling the timer of the oxygen concentrator if you desire. Again, your flow meter and the knob for adjusting your flow meter. We have our oxygen outlet here, and we have a holding position for our humidifier bottle as well. To the back of our unit, we will find the cover plate for our filter housing. Behind this cover plate, we will find our dust filter first, and a little bit further back will be the HEPA filter. We'll chat through replacement of both these filters a little bit later on in this video. Further down here, we have the insert point for our power cord. It's also very important with this unit that we be sure the underside of the unit is clear of any dust or debris buildup. This is important as the unit expels its exhaust from the underside, so we want to regularly check no dust or debris is building up here to be sure that the flow of the unit is left unaffected. On our control panel, we have several features available to use. At the top left, we have a reset button. In the event of short circuit, this will protect your unit. Below that, we have the power button as our on and off switch. The display screen itself. Our indicator lights below the display screen. And the buttons below the indicator lights are for your timer settings. We also have the flow meter and its dial for control and the oxygen outlet. The indicator lights can be used to determine the operational status of your unit. Starting with the indicator on the left, which says O2 underneath, this indicates our oxygen percentage. A green illuminated light shows a normal oxygen percent whereas a red illuminated light indicates that the oxygen percentage is lower than 82%. We can check our dust filters for any debris as well as the underside of our unit, but the event, in the event that this light continues to be illuminated, please do give us a call so we can chat you through this one. In the middle, we have our trouble indicator light with an exclamation point and a triangle underneath the light. This should remain off to tell us that the unit is in good working order. If this light illuminates red, it shows that there is an error occurring and we'll need to investigate this further. Our final indicator light on the far right is our power loss indicator light. This will illuminate green when we have our unit plugged into a power source. If our power source has been disconnected or lost, this will illuminate red and will be coupled with an alarm sounding to ensure that you reconnect your unit to the power supply as soon as possible. We can set up our oxygen concentrator for use with an anesthesia machine or for direct supply of oxygen for our patients. For an anesthesia machine, we we'll just need to take the oxygen tubing to supply our anesthesia machine 
and we would connect this directly onto the front of your concentrator, the silver port here for our oxygen outlet. So you just connect straight on to there. For setup for direct oxygen supply for your patient, we want to use our humidifier bottle. The humidifier bottle has a minimum and maximum mark. So we've just gone ahead and filled up to midway between these two marks using distilled water. We can attach that to the front of our oxygen concentrator using this holding band here. And the tube extending from the center of the lid of the humidifier is what connects onto the silver port for your oxygen outlet. The port at the front here is the one that you would use to provide the oxygen to your patient via uh, oxygen cannula, cannula or other preferred form of oxygen tubing you would like to use. We have a cannula here, so we'll just pop that on. And we're ready to turn on the unit using our power button. We're currently sitting at a zero flow rate here. So we can adjust that using our dial. And as we turn that on, we should start to see our bubbles appearing in the humidifier to indicate that oxygen is now flowing. It's very important with this unit before turning off the unit that we turn this all the way back down to zero before turning off at the power button. This oxygen concentrator also has a Y connector available. If you'd like to split your oxygen concentrator supply into two for either with the use of two anesthesia machines or to supply direct oxygen to two of your patients. Using our Y connector, for an anesthesia machine, we'll just again attach directly to the silver port here for your oxygen outlet before joining on to our oxygen tubing. For direct supply to our patient, we can just pop off that nasal cannula, replace that with the Y connector, reattach our cannula, and then we have the second port here available for uh, additional nasal cannula. So we can pop that in place. And this would now be ready to supply oxygen via two lines um, for our patients. If you're looking to use the split line setup with your Y connector on the oxygen concentrator, it's important that we don't exert the machine beyond its maximum capacity. We need to be mindful that whatever we run our unit at, We'll be, we can assume will be split evenly between the two lines. Due to this, we recommend running the machine no lower than three liters per minute when you have your split line set up. If you would like to set a timer for your oxygen concentrator, you can do this while the unit is operational. Using the buttons on the control panel, if we press the M, this will put us into the time control mode. Our number has started flashing to show we're editing this. And we can adjust this with the up and down arrow, which will increase the time in increments of 10. To confirm our time, we can press the enter button. We can see the timer is now set as a small clock has appeared at the bottom right of the display screen. If we would like to reset our alarm, we can just press M, which will take us back to a zero timer. Our display screen also has two numbers available to read. The top number is the total hours that this unit has been used for over its lifespan which can be great for helping us assess when our filter changes are due. The bottom number is your up-to-date time. So the time shown here is how long your unit has currently been turned on for during its current use. The display screen is also where any error codes will appear if your oxygen concentrator encounters an error with an applicable error code. 
we can refer to our full manual for the error code meanings and how we can look to resolve these. Your oxygen concentrator shouldn't require any major day-to-day -day maintenance. For each use, we want to be sure that the underside of the unit is kept free of any obstruction, dust or debris. On a regular basis, we'll want to check the dust filter at the back of the unit and give this a clean if required, which we'll chat through doing that shortly. To the front of our unit, we have our humidifier bottle, which between uses or when the, when the unit's left for a period of time not being used, we should take this all apart, rinse it thoroughly with distilled water, and then allow it to air dry it. For the unit itself, if there's any contamination with gross debris, we can use a dampened lint-free cloth and a mild diluted detergent and just spot clean the unit as we need to. To access the filters that can be changed in clinic by yourself or your team, we can refer to the back of our unit. It's important to remember to always unplug our unit from the power supply before accessing these filters. To access these filters, we need to remove the cover plate, which we can do so by pressing down on the lever at the top. We can see here mounted into our cover plate, we have our first filter, which is our dust filter. And this filter further back inside this plastic cover here is our HEPA filter. We recommend checking your dust filter on a weekly basis. And this can be removed from the cover plate, cleaned under running water for, to remove any dust or debris, thoroughly allowed to air dry, and then it can be popped back into the cover plate when you're ready. The cover plate itself can also get a bit of buildup of dust in here, so it can also be rinsed and allowed to air dry thoroughly before putting back on your concentrator. In addition to checking this filter on a regular basis and cleaning as required, this filter should also be replaced with a new filter every 1000 hours of use. Our HEPA filter here has this small tubing just hooked into a little holding device here so we can just pop that out. The rest of this uh, mechanism is held in with a adapter at the bottom here which joins on. So we need to just pull up relatively firmly and then once it gives we can pull that towards us and pull straight out. The HEPA filter can be replaced by opening this cover just by turning. We then replace the HEPA filter and this one is every 3000 hours of use. So we can pull this out, replace with a new one and then pop our cover back in place. We can then rejoin our adapter into the center uh, outlet here, push that down nice and firmly and then pop our little tube here into its holding position again. When you're finished with the filters, we can just line up the two points here with the slots at the bottom, pop that in place until it clicks back into position. Aside from this dust filter and HEPA filter that can be changed in clinic yourself, our oxygen concentrator also has an internal compressor filter and internal canister. Both these components will need to be replaced by a qualified servicing technician when required.